to build a website for your wellness and health business, but you just didn't know how? I didn't know how to build a website either until Mike showed me, and now he can show you too. Hi, my name is Mike, and I want to show you how to create your own health and wellness website for your business. The website for the business we just built is for a practical naturopathy and herbal medicine business. As you can see, there is a main image, a Meet Mike Rosso section with his image, why to choose this kind of business, and what kind of work is done in this type of business. There are also a few testimonials, about three of them, that you can see right here. We also added a service section to show which services the business offers. And of course, at the bottom, we added the contact form where you can contact the business owner. In this case, it's Mike Rosso. There is his phone number, email, and address, as well as a map to show where his business is physically located. Right now, I want to show you how to create a website like this for your business. So to start, we need to go to Wix.com and press on the sign in button in the top right corner. If you already have an account, just log in with your email and password. If you don't have an account, you can press on the sign up button. I already have an account here at Wix, so I'm just going to press login. Since I've already been a Wix user for the past few years, I have a few websites that I've already built. In this case, if you're a new user, you will need to press on the create new site button and choose a category that relates to your business. I don't see a category that relates to health and wellness, so I'm just going to press on other. I will press on the choose a template button because I want to choose one of the templates Wix showed me. There are thousands of templates that Wix already designed that you can choose from. You can find a template that can work for you by looking at the different categories on the left side. Let's just press on health and wellness. Every time I mouse over a new template, it'll show a view and edit button. The view button will show you a sample website that Wix already built using this template. I can see if I like the look of this template and if I want to use it for myself and my own website, I will press on the edit button. I think I'm going to choose this template right over here. It will open up a new tab in the editor. I'm just going to wait for it to open. Okay, so here I have the Wix editor. And before I start changing different elements on the site, let's go over a few buttons that are important to know. In our top right hand corner, we have the save, preview and publish buttons. Each time you do any kind of change to your website, just press on the save button. You don't want to lose any of your data just in case there is an electricity failure. If you want to see how your website will look after a change, you can press on the preview button. You'll be able to see the actual website and how that website will be displayed when your website goes live. We're going to head over back to the editor. If you want to save all your changes and make your website go live, then just press on publish. All the changes that you made will then go live to your website. Next to the save, preview and publish buttons, you'll see an undo and redo button. And over to the left, we have our desktop and mobile view buttons. When you finish working on your desktop website, you should take a look to see what your mobile website will look like. You can see if your website is looking good on mobile. If not, you can change the layout and sizes to make sure it all fits. So here you can see all the pages on our website. Right now we have the home page, services page and blog. Of course, we can add pages and delete pages as we go along. Here on the left, we have a few more buttons. The plus button, which is the add button, is the most important one. You can add anything you want to the website, such as text, images, gallery, vector art, shapes, interactive buttons, and much, much more. I really recommend you go over each of these elements and try to understand what you can do with any of them. When you find an element that you want to add to your website, you can drag and drop it onto the page. I can press on the element and a menu will pop up showing me everything I can do with the element. I can change the size and change the angle. I can also delete it by right clicking the image and pressing delete. So I want to create the same page that I showed you at the beginning of the video. We're going to start by changing the name. The name on this website is Amelia Bank. To change it, I'm going to press on it and then press on change text. I will change it to Mike Rosso. And here it says meet Amelia. I want to change it so I'm going to go to my pages and then I'm going to press on manage pages. I can see the meet Amelia anchor right over here. So I'm going to press on the button with three dots. Instead of meet Amelia, I'm going to change it to meet Mike. I can go back and see that it now says meet Mike. I just want to change the background image now, so I'm going to go to images and then use the free images from Wix. Let's just start with something green, so I'm going to search green. And I'm going to choose this one right over here. Now here, of course, I want to change the name to Meet Mike Rosso. I want to change the image, so I'm going to press on it and select change column background and press on images. 
I'm going to search the word man so we can find a good picture to use as our profile image. This one here looks like a good one relating to health and wellness, so I think we're going to choose this one. So we changed the actual image, now let's change the position. We're just going to press this button and it's going to move over a bit. I think that looks good. Here it says why to choose this business. You can go in and change all the titles and descriptions to make it fit with your business. You can change each testimonial as well. There are three testimonials here and you can change and edit each one of them. Of course, you can do the same thing for your services. You can change the images, titles, and you can add as many services as you like here. For the contact form, you want to make sure all the messages coming through your website are going to your email, so we're going to add that in. We're going to write mike at gmail.com. We can also change the phone number and address, of course. And instead of Amelia Banks, we can change this little pointer to Mike Rosso. And of course, change the address as well right in here so it can be changed on our map. Now in the footer section, I'm going to change 2023 to 2018. And the name can be changed to Mike Rosso. Alright, so I made a few changes. Of course, if you have a real business, you can change many more things. I just wanted to show you with just a few minutes how you can change most of the elements on your website to fit your business. So I'm just going to press on save and the first thing it's going to ask me is to put a name for the website. We're going to call this one Mike Health. Press on the save and continue button. If we want to make this website go live, we can press on publish. It will give us a link, and if we go to this link, the entire site that we just edited together will be live on the internet for anybody to see. If you're going to use Wix for your business's website, I really recommend you get a premium plan. Once you pay for the premium plan, you can remove the Wix banner at the top of the website, and you can add your own domain name. And that's it. I hope this video was helpful, and have a great day. See how easy that is? If you liked this video and you found it helpful, please like, share, and leave your comments down below. Bye!